steady little 18 dart first winning leg for Damon and now we're starting to oh, they've settled down they've settled up there they're setting settled down and getting on with the job yeah, I know we're three legs in but Damon's first nine average sits at 123 oh it did before this visit Winner of this game will face either Johnny Clayton or Ryan Meikle. Those two to play later this afternoon. Joe, what, what a leg of darts this is from Andy Bolton. He's left himself only 41 after nine darts, and this is against the throw. This could be a big, big break 58. in the early stages of this one. match. Double 16 now for a break of throw. He's on the third leg. Well, an 11 darter against the throw. European champion against the former Masters champion. 100. Danny Nopper against Chris Doby, who's had a, an incredibly busy week with players' championships, Euro Tour qualifiers, the Premier League, and then hot footing it from Newcastle to here yesterday. 96. I think one of the games that stands out to me is. Dirk Van Dijvenboder against Ted Everts. Ted Everts looked very good yesterday with a 6 0 demolition of Jose de Salsi yesterday. Just over a 98 average. 120. Yeah, Jose didn't play well, but Ted Everts maybe forced him not to play well because he was excellent. And that'll be a tough one for Dirk. 96. Stemmy required. Double 32. 16 here for Damon Hare for a holder throw. Let's take a 4 3 lead. Play. Damon. That's double eight, four, three lead. Could still have legs in it. Good use of the ball there. Yeah, good thinking there by Damon Hera. I mean, a 1 8 is always nice to hear, gets screamed out, but if he'd have only hit the 20, he left himself 165, it's obviously no finish. So at least this way he's got an opportunity. So for arguably the toughest finish in the sport. He can't buy himself a chance on the ball. And he required 170. Andy Bolton, the big fish here. We saw it hit once yesterday. We saw it missed once yesterday as well. Well, he's on. Another one of them. Bullseye then for Andy Bolton. Oh, oh what a dart that was. Andy Bolton. Damon Hare sitting on a nice, comfortable finish. Andy Bolton for a hold and throw. Takes out the big fish. Andy will be disappointed with himself there. A little bit of a lazy dart down to the 19s. You just expect to hit the big 19 and you lose that little bit of focus. And he slipped into the seven. Hetter's not really punished that mistake because one four three is a difficult out shot. It's the 19 this time, but it's been more of a pedestrian leg this one. Yeah, a bit of a nervy leg. One trying to get hold of the leg to wrap up the match, and the other one trying to hold on to it, stay in the match. Well, double 16 here for Damon Hetter. Oh! And that is a stylish way to win any game of darts. Damon Hetter defying the big fish heroics from Andy Bolt. Rob Cross doesn't look like he's slowing down. Two treble visits on the reg. He's at seven already. And this is the sort of scoring that Ryan Joyce was doing yesterday when he beat Jermaine Watamena. He was probably second favourite for that game, to be fair, because Jermaine's been playing some very good darts lately. But he hit four 180s, and his first nine average was around 114 mark come the end of the game. But Rob Cross, this is magnificent. Well, Rob Cross, the two previous legs, has left himself a 170 after nine. Well, he's obviously got a little bit upset about the 170 now, and he's <laughs> decided to leave himself 81 down after nine. And again, doesn't need to go oh, for the balls right, at the end of this, won. so I don't think the 12 segment's going to come into play. Unless he wants the double 12, of course. 
Double six. Yeah, 12 data, Rob Cross, and this is Imperius. Ryan Joyce has taken the initiative now. And he's stamping that bit of authority. 100. Now then, what kind of setup shot has Cross got from here? He cannot stop Ryan Joyce having a look at the 81, but he can make life more difficult. 100. Mm, Ryan, another treble would have made it a lot trickier. Lovely dart for double 18, 11 data. The switch to nines, you've hit it once already. Oh my, oh. that is missed by an absolute 77. mile. Oh. Well, this is a this is a huge opportunity now for Rob Cross. This was possibly down a shot that he didn't think he would get, especially after that first dart went in the treble 15 the way it did, and the way we know Ryan Joyce can finish. What a dart from Cross, though. Two at double 16 for four one. Feels like a big moment in the game. And it might well be a big moment in the game. It's another 14 dart leg from Rob Cross. I think I said it in the previous match, Dan, it's always nice to hear a referee scream out the 180, but it's all about winning the leg and setting yourself up on a finish. He's had a couple of looks at the 170. He'll get a look at the 167. Ryan, you require 67. Only going to be one dart. Double 16, the target. And again, he's nearly hit the double seven. The radar just isn't quite calibrated for Ryan Joyce today. There's not another opportunity for Rob Cross. It's a big in, where he can still finish. 95 left, treble 19, double 19. Well, and he's given himself an opportunity at it. Double 19 for a steal. Oh, Rob Cross. Some plus checkout, not the way he wanted, but it will do very nicely. But Rob Cross is sending out a big, big marker to the rest of the players to say to him, this is how I'm playing, this is what I'm up for doing. 96. Well, he's been over the 107 mark on the Euro Tour five times. He could well finish over 107 for a sixth time here because he's left himself tops for a 6-1 win. And Ryan Joyce is still averaging high 90s. He's played pretty similarly to how he did yesterday, but he's not been given the opportunities because Rob Cross has been too good. He'd have been too good today for the vast majority of people on planet Earth. And that does seal a 6-1 win. It's the best we've seen of Voltage this year. The two-time European champion finishing with an average of more than 105. He chucks his darts, and they can sometimes hang a bit precariously in the board. I often wonder how he's got as good as he has been, done, but very effective so far. I mean, you look at some of the averages that he's thrown this year. Pro Tour, 101, 104, 106, 105. Whoa. Jim Williams' A game can rival anybody's. Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. This bloke knows how to win games of darts. Twenty-four. Well, he's in an advantageous position here. Bullseye doesn't need this. The stats say he's probably better to lay up, but against Chizzy, you go for it, and he hits it. Twelve data. This is the first leg where they just dropped off a bit. Valuable last start into the travel for Jim Williams. Make sure he's first to a finish. Six. 
Jimmy Rupaul, 151. One five one would have laid down a marker. It's not going to go. One five eight would be similar. Sixty. Dave Chisnell. Dave Rupaul, 158. Can the number six seed raise the roof in Leverkusen? Good. Of course he can! Who, even a lot of the top pros, people who've won big titles, they sometimes look at him in awe, genuinely astonished by what he can do and how often he can do it. It is absolutely terrifying watching Dave Chisnell practice sometimes. 59, Jimmy require 80. OK, in the treble 16 for double 16 route, which is a gamble in itself. Nice. Oh, what are you doing, Jim? I mean, that is such a schoolboy error. There's all sorts wrong there. He wanted a big 20 to leave double 16. He's now gone all the way back to 80. And Dave Chisnell is on a double. Now, busting 80 for Jim Williams. Is it going to cost him? Because that leaves double top. 40. And it has cost him. It is a horrendous 20. error from Jim Williams that just opens the door for Dave Chisnell, who, let's be honest, over the last three legs or so, things have got a bit stodgy in this game. Uh, and he's allowed seven. Dave Chisnell to make things a lot easier. Yeah, funny game, really. Not being a masterclass of scoring. I mean, Dave Chisnell averaging 90 for his standards, that's pretty pedestrian. Well, it certainly is when you look at how he's played on the Pro Tour. I mean, he's averaging more than 98 over nearly 30 games, and that's not including oh, the European Tour event, which he went all the way and won. But he's winning, and he's winning by a decent margin, as Jim Williams can't even keep hold of his darts. 44. Well, it's a world away for the Maybe performance he put in against John Henderson yesterday. It started well enough. Could it end with something magnificent? Oh, Chizzy, come on. Behave yourself. He knows what he's doing. And he's got six at tops for the match. What a position to find yourself in. Well, he needs two, and Dave Chisnell advances through to round three of the European Darts Open. Must not miss, Johnny. Well, three match darts incoming for Ryan Meikle. 90. And he's 50% so far in the game, so you expect him one to go. Double five. 15. Ryan Meikle has Johnny missed three match darts. Could this game change again? It, it might do. Johnny Clayton. It's been hugely noticeable. And that's enough to give him a look at 1-6-1 for the match. It may be a shot that he doesn't need to take out. Oh dear. Not much Clayton can do from here. 140. On your point, 76. Another match dart opportunity should be incoming. He'll get one at tops. And Ryan Miko has taken a big scalp. For the second time in his career, he has beaten Johnny Clayton.
on the big stage. He must do what, what he can to try and not lose his throw in this league. Yeah, After that 180, Danny Noppert's only followed it up with 60 and 57. We're a bit disappointed with that. Go downstairs, oh, yeah. Well, what he wouldn't give Dan to fill this up. He's not going to, but a 140 would help. 140. And what could still be a give to pin this in two darts? Will just have to be one at tops. And that's the awkward thing about any 60 checkout. Well, he's hit the single 18, so he leaves himself 60. Lots of players have sticky, uppy darts. That makes it difficult. Just noticed his eyes. Can't help it. Sat next to a multi talented man. Running well, up at showing a lot of talent on the trebles. Unfortunately, we could only get five into the nine. 49. Well, if you're going to hold your throw and you've thrown six darts and five of them are trebles, you're doing something right. Oh, Easy. that was in and fell out. I think it clattered into the other dart on the way in and so lost us momentum. Well, it teased him a bit. It, it threatened to stay in and then at the last minute thought, nah, fancy the floor instead. Not that it should matter because Doby is a mile back. Tops for not. 40. That's what you've got to do. You've got to Fill your diary, got to prepare yourself properly, got to give yourself every opportunity to be in certain places at certain times, get your practice routines right, because the rewards are unbelievable. Absolutely but, right. But you have to run yourself professionally. If you want the plaudits and the riches of professional oh, darts, not. You've got to make a few sacrifices. As with any sport, you want to go to the top. It's not going to be an easy route. 97. Well, it's a big one. Oh, he's looking a little Danny bit Uruguay despondent now, is Chris. I think he feels that Danny could mop up this 74 and that's a great first half a double 16 yeah, for a 5-2 lead Danny because you didn't give a shot you've got to walk away with positives you think well i played well there i didn't do anything wrong um, unfortunately this afternoon chris doby doesn't seem to have been at the races i'm not saying that he's fatigued or he's tired or anything like that it's just a bad day at the office as we say it's just a bad day at the office you can't be a champion performer every time you go up there. Well, Bill Taylor could possibly <laughs> prove me wrong on that a little bit, and a certain MVG for a number of years could prove me wrong on that. But you can't always achieve what you want. 403. Well, Danny Noppert cleans that one up well. He was aiming for the treble 10 to go for double 18. 140. Danny required 20. So for another leg inside five visits. And for a place in round three of the European Darts Open. Danny Noppert duly converts. I'll still be knocking around about number 126 in the rankings. Well, but Danny not... Noppert's just done a, a, a professional oh, job God. there, hasn't he? He didn't have to be brilliant, but he's done a job. Damon Hetter was very good at the start of the day. Yep. Rob Cross and Dirk van Dijvenbode were absolutely brilliant. Yep. But you'd have to say a lot oh, of the I'm other players forward. haven't been that convincing. Ross Smith's been on social media before. saying didn't, didn't feel happy with how I played. Dave Chisnell was astonished he didn't hit a 180, despite <laughs> winning. Bunting looking at the 14s. That leaves double 11. Oh, Ryan, right, you require 67. This for a break of throw. Single 18. Tops. Yeah, yeah that 
once more like it from Ryan Searle. Often, one dart is enough on double top for this man. All of a sudden, he'll sort of lean forward and he's squinting, leaning forward, and then he'll lean back, look properly, and then he'll say to the referee, oh, What's that? that? Where is it? <laughs> what have I got left? Tell me what I need and I'll get it. Well, he was actually, he was actually relieved when Winmore became the sponsor and started providing all the boards for the PDC. His oh, biggest relief, Brian Sell, was that the, the previous unicorn board had a patch of red on the sponsor just above the double top. And it Four. genuinely, because he's, he's got such wide. poor vision, he struggled to actually differentiate. It, it, it sort of merged into the double top form. Double 12 for a 12 data yeah. is there, Bravo. and Stephen Bunting, Stephen Bunting is the Today's better player the at the back end of this match. The average continues to climb. Going to knock a big lump out of this. Oh, Yo, he leaves himself on top. 142. Yeah, like you said, Ricardo Petrescu last night. Checkouts of 87, 120, 61, 170, 97 and a half average. Oh, Peter's got to have his work boots on. He really does. But Ryan Searle can do nothing to stop the bullet here. Double top. Double ten. Match darts missed by Stephen Bunting. Well, Ryan yeah, Searle's favourite, and he sends it all the way. Yeah, he'll be looking at Stephen. Stephen Bunting here will be thinking to himself, right, apply the pressure. One big treble should give me the opportunity. Oh, but when you go and hit two, Dan, and you're on one, two, one, and after nine, and your opponent's on three, four, seven. You sort of like, well, you have a little bit of a sigh of relief, but the job's still not done. He still has to hit that winning shot if he's going to get through this match. Well, there's no need to use the bullseye here at the end of the visit, so he uses it at the start. Can't find the trouble 13, but he will leave himself. 81. On 40 for the match. There is some pressure, but is it enough? Stephen Bunting. There's been a lot of missed doubles in this game. But Bunting doesn't miss anymore. It is a 6-5 victory for the bullet. He sees off Ryan Searle just as he did at the World Grand Prix a couple of years ago.